So we are crashing 30 minutes into the stream instead of the 12. Not sure what's up with that. All right. Yikes. What is going on? So I'm so confused. So Amber, the uh, the overlay, which has stream labels, is like showing the 300 bits, but there was no alert. Huh. Hmm. I don't know. But thank you for those 300 bits. You're amazing. You are amazing. All right, let's get over into the game here. Okay. I think Jamie was here. Jamie just... Oh, Jamie's back. Okay, everybody's back. All right, we're here. I think I do. Let me check. Let me, let's me let check real quick. Oh, my gosh. We should definitely check this to make sure. There it goes. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Seems like they're working. Maybe your 300 bits event got eaten. Which is terrible. The other scenes. The other scenes? I don't know. I don't know what, what, what you're talking about. Test. Huh. I don't know. I don't have... No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't have separate uh, intros. I don't. I should. I should. But uh, I just, I have never had time to, like, reorder all the scenes and junk. All right. So, I'm not quite sure what happened there. All right. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Let's go see our kid over here. Oh my god, there's Rachel. I don't know what happened. I, I, it's so weird. So did the 100 bits show up also? Or did it not? Oh no, no, no. 100 bits was 21 hours ago. Oh, okay, that was last night. Hmm... Yes, you are. You are at the top of the chat. Um, all right, let's uh, break this down here for Jamie. We got two kids. We got little Rachel right here. She's uh, now moving around, and she should be falling on her tush any moment. Pretty sure she's going to fall on her tush. All right, I'm pretty sure she fell on her tush, but she fell on the tush in the bed. All right, so we have that kid, and then we have this kid over here who's doing yoga right now. This is Raphael. He's doing yoga. He's a good kid. And uh, we got some booze going. We got a bunch of booze going on in here. I believe that's all uh, ancient fruit wine. Let's check the TV. Oh, there goes our other kid running around. Let's see. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Well, it was 12 minutes into the stream. Now it seems to have gone back to 30. Uh, bad luck today. Look at that red skull. Look at that red skull. Bad luck today. Hmm. I'd like to talk about the famous Adventurer's Guild near Pelican Town. The guild leader, Marlin, 
has a nice rewards program for anyone brave enough to slay monsters in the local caves. Adventurers will receive powerful items in exchange for slaying large quantity of monsters. There's a poster on the wall with more details. Very cool. All right, there's our other kid running around. So she's running around at breakneck speeds. Um, I believe she will collapse on her tush if we watch. Nope, now she's going to do yoga. All right, never mind. I don't know what's going on, man. All right, we have a wife. Let's see. Dear Slippy, I was conducting a field study the other day, and I found the specimen. I hope you find it interesting as I did. Demetrius. Demetrius is my father-in-law. And uh, my wife is somewhere around here. Maybe she went to work. Uh-oh. She, she went to work. All right, so we're going to have to do something nice for her because, like, we didn't even say hello to her. Oh my gosh. Dude, what is going on? Why are there no alerts happening? Mmm, what is going on? Huh. Dead chick with the hundred bits. I wonder what's going on with Streamlabs tonight. Yeah, it did not happen. The alert didn't happen. Hmm. What's going on with Streamlabs? Hmm. What is wrong? Did we do something, Amber? I don't think we did anything, right? We just, all we did was like twiddle around with Nightbot, right? Nothing should be changed. Everything was working fine last night. Wow, my nose is very itchy. It's so weird. Why isn't it? Hmm. That's so strange. All right, let's see. Yeah, nothing we did should have affected it, right? Hmm. It is a mystery. It is a mystery. Let's see what happens. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll update. Because uh, my stream labels is not updating either. Hmm. Hmm. I'm puzzling. Let's see what happens. Maybe, maybe it'll trigger. Maybe it's just like super late. Oh, there's Mr. Miyagi. I'm sure everybody remembers Mr. Miyagi, the wonderful kitty cat. Uh, let's go down here. All right, we do have to see our wife today. We don't want to make her mad. Let's let these animals out. It's really strange. Right, let's let all the animals out. Um, okay, the gate's closed. Just want to make sure the gate was closed. Hmm. Okay, well, something just happened. Okay, Dead Chick just gave 10 bits. Okay. Now it worked. Huh. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Alright, let's pull a strawberry out to give to my wife. We have to make it up to her for that, uh, no talking to her this morning. Maybe 100 doesn't work for some reason? Hmm. I have no idea. 
And then, and now the um. So. So Amber, get this. S stream labels is not showing the hundred bits from Dead Chick. It is showing the ten bits from Dead Chick. But it is showing the 100 bits you gave last night. I have no idea. Uh, Jamie, yes, we com we finished the community center a long, long time ago. So we're in year four, Jamie. Um, hi, honey. Oh my God, look at this. Look how sweet. Is that, oh wow, Slippy, this is spectacular. I'm at work, honey. Don't let the doctor see. Why don't you come home in that uniform? You don't really have to stay in the uniform, but, uh, you yeah. know. Okay. Let's see. Um, yeah, so we finished the community center. Um, we're trying to get all the achievements. So the only ones we have left are a complete collection, which is going to be rough uh, because that's hard. Uh, and Gourmet Chef. And this one is only troublesome because I'm an idiot and I missed two recipes uh, on the TV. I don't remember missing them. I feel like every day I, I watch the TV, but apparently I missed them. Um, we are missing this one or You caught up to me. I took a break from Stardew for a while. Well, I've been playing this game a lot. Um, I'm missing this one or. Also, somewhere along the lines, I found a prismatic shard and I must have sold it. Which is pretty dumb. So we actually need another prismatic shard to give to the museum. Which is really annoying. Um, so the only thing left to do, we need this. We need another prismatic shard to give to the museum. Um, we need um, these three artifacts. We need the the anchor, and we need this, whatever this is. I think it's a shell. I think it's a Nautilus shell. And then we need this doll. So we need those three. Uh, we have all the fish. We did all the shipments. Everything has been done. Uh, we have two kids. We have wife. Yeah, the prismatic shards are hard to get. It was very stupid. I can't believe I sold it. I don't even remember doing it. Like, I don't even remember doing it. I have no memory whatsoever of doing it. It's really weird. I have no memory of ever doing it, but apparently we did it because the, um, you know, we used one prismatic shard to get the uh, galaxy sword and then um, the museum is missing one. You know what I mean? There's there's not one in the museum, so clearly I must have sold it. Um, but I don't remember doing it. So for all intents and purposes, we should have already given... Uh, we should have already given that uh, that to the museum, but apparently I decided to be a baka and uh, not do that and then sell it for like nothing. Kinetic Plastic is hosting. Thank you so much, Kinetic Plastic. In Kinetic Plastic, thank you for following. You followed when I was off stream about six hours ago. I really appreciate that. Thank you for that follow. So kind. Thank you very much. Thank you for the wonderful host. Mucho appreciated. Um, also, Jamie, we got the return scepter. So we sprang two million to buy the uh, return scepter. We got that. Uh, what else? We have friendship with everyone at full max. The only one we don't have is our baby Rachel. She uh, likes us the least, which makes some sense, since she's new to this world. But everybody else is in love with Slippy. 
including one love that we would like to be, be slightly distanced from, which is Sebastian. It sure would be nice to uh, go to the mountain at night, but if we go to the mountain at night, then Sebastian sabota sabotages my marriage. It's not good. It's not good. And, oh, Kinetic Plastic is here. 100 bits. Kombawa, Slippy, and Chad. Very, oh, man, thank you so much for that. Hopefully that alert showed up. <sighs> Did that alert show up? All right. Maybe the alerts are working now, Amber. So it seems that Amber um, gave us some bits a little earlier, and there was no alerts. But maybe the alerts are working now. It did? Okay. So Amber got the raw end of this deal. So she uh she she's being recognized right now for being so kind and giving some bits earlier. Alright, we got a bunch of animals also, Jamie. I'm pretty sure you saw the animals before. And um we also we have a, a lot of money. Oh god, Jamie, I gotta show you the cartel. I gotta show you the business. I gotta show you our business strategy. I wanted to also show you this over here. We got this sick uh, obelisk. We built this obelisk. You know who Dead Chick and Plastic are, right? I don't know who I don't know who Plastic is. I don't know who Kinetic Plastic is. I know who Jet Dead Chick is. And, uh, Jamie, we did complete the two-year evaluation with a full record. And that's how we got the, uh... Okay, Kinetic Plastin is your boyfriend. Okay. All right, wow, the whole family. All right, great. Okay. <laughs> so, in fact, everybody was you. Okay. Let's see. Amber, Amber is uh, in charge of three accounts all at once. Okay, looks like we had some ancient fruit in there. So I gotta show you the, uh, I gotta show you the business, the business. Uh, we gotta show you the the uh, the business strategy that we've been employing here. Kinetic Plastic's a pretty good name. It's pretty good. <laughs> Kinetic Plastic. This is a pretty good name. That's a pretty good username. Okay. She farmed the bits, but I'm dropping them. Got it. Got it. All right. <laughs> Farming the bits from my phone. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Amber has been instrumental in helping me put together some semblance of a reasonable stream. She is wonderful, as I'm sure you know. Let me throw this in there. Let's throw this stuff in here. All right, we're going to show the business off here. The uh, This is how the, the cartel makes cash, which you know is not completely on the up and up. We needed earth crystals for something, right? All right, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I am going to show you. All right, we'll we'll show you the business. All right, here comes the business. I will show you the business. All right, here we go. Let's grab let's get on the horse so we can make it quick. All right. So, here's the business. Part of it is in here. This is a smaller part of the business which is preserving fruit. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. We also have some honey. Not a big deal. We have some Junimo huts that uh, these folks are, are taking care of our, our food for us, the harvesting. You can kind of see part of our business over there to the left. I'll show it to you for real in a moment. Let me just grab these strawberries. All right. 
So I'll show you over here. So these uh, these Junimos are helping us out with the uh, working. We they are not indentured servants. They are helpers. So this is the first part of the cartel. So we took our quarry and turned it into a booze uh, distillery. So this is uh, the quarry uh, that we used to have, but now it is a uh, distillery for booze. So that's part of it. And then it continues in this room. There we go. There's some more of the uh, cartel. And there's one more piece of the cartel, and I will show it to you in just a moment. Let me just clean up this mess. All right, so I'll show you the last part of the uh, cartel. The cartel is over here. This is the main section of our business strategy, the uh, the the arm, if you will, the major arm of our of our business strategy is over here. So you just take yourself on over here, and then you go down the street. You just take yourself down the street. And then you hop off your horse, and then you go in here, and you see the main arm of our business strategy, which is the major part of the cartel. So this is the uh, substantial part of our, our cash flows from this, the tunnel cartel. Uh, so this is all ancient fruit wine. Yes, indeed. Ancient fruit wine, a major source of cash. Major source of capital for the farm. And there you have it. <laughs> my brother, Banana Hammock, should be on by later. Okay, I've tutored him in bit farming. Oh my gosh. All right, Banana Hammock is your brother. Okay, wow. Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, this is a, we have some more booze brewing here, but that's not major or anything. All right, so that's uh, that's in a nutshell. That's how we're raising our cash is uh, by uh, you know using our resources to our advantage. All right, we're using our resources to our advantage. Let's go ahead and close the. Uh... <laughs> Oops, my finger slipped. <laughs> Kappa. Oh, very kind. All right, looks like the alerts are working. That's really good. Thank you so much, Kinetic Plastic. For, uh, for spending those hard harvested bits on the sleepy stream. It is very kind. Um, so we're going to go ahead and build the... Uh, we're going to build the, the other obelisk today. We're going to go ahead and build the other obelisk. Well, not today, but tomorrow. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. We're going to build it tomorrow. Can see all the things you've shipped again. There's one thing that I don't know what it is. Oh, really? Sure. Um, so which which page? One or two? Which page, my friend? Which page? First page or the second page? There's a second page. First one above starfruit. Oh, okay. That is rhubarb. That is rhubarb. And rhubarb, I believe, is a spring. I think it's spring. Yeah, it's rhubarb. I, th I think it's spring. Hey, Seven Lost, how's it going? Thanks for dropping by. Good to see you. All right. Let's take care of this stuff we got in our inventory. Did I grab the stuff from these Junimos? I did, all right. Those Junimos are hard-working dudes. Those, I mean, I don't know if they're dudes. They're probably gender less genderless beings they are hard working beings hard working junimos good lord okay um 
Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, I had to take garbage out tonight, too. I had to take garbage out as well. And I had to go to the store. And I had to do some banking. Um, today's been a really weird day. I was hoping to do some streaming earlier today, but it uh, just didn't happen. I got caught up with uh, school stuff. Even though today was supposed to be a day off, it was not. It was not. Today was supposed to be a, a vacation day. It's a national holiday in Japan. But, like so many times, I ended up working anyway. Because that is Slippy's life. <laughs> that is the reality of Slippy's life. Purple stars. Yeah, that's iridium. Purple stars is iridium. What was I going to do? Oh, I was going to look to see if rhubarb... I think rhubarb is spring. Let me make sure of that. Rhubarb. Rhubarb. It is spring. Rhubarb takes 13 days in spring. <laughs> Aurebesh says, Sounds like Slippy needs to figure out his work-life balance. To that I say, uh, Have you got level 10 forging? I have level 10 everything. I believe I have everything in the game. The only thing I don't have is whatever is in between. I don't know what this is. I don't have that, but I have everything else. I've had level 10 everything since the second year. Um, the past two years have just been sort of trying to get as much money as possible, having fun, making iridium equipment, making my farm look nice, expanding the farm, and trying to get the achievements. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I believe everything I pick up is iridium quality now. Yes, foraged items are always highest quality. Uh, fish are worth 50% more, 15% more damage, um, chance to find geodes doubled, Befriend barn animals quicker. I don't recommend this one. I don't recommend this one. I think this is a bad, uh, a very bad choice. I mean, if you care about the money in the game and stuff, uh, Shepherd is not a great, uh, not a great choice. Uh, we got Rancher also. Not a great choice. <laughs> uh, Geologist is good though. Uh, Gatherer is very good. Yeah, Fisher is good. Fighter is good. So the only my my farming I think I think went down a wrong track. I don't really recommend doing animal stuff in this game. I don't I don't think it's particularly good. Um, oh my gosh, kinetic plastic with 107 lust bits. Very good. Thank you very much. And thank you Seven Lost. You are so kind for gifting Amber with Stardew Valley, but by extension gifting kinetic plastic and dead chick uh, Stardew Valley. It's very kind. So Jamie says, okay, then I say you get a deluxe barn full of just pigs so you can get iridium quality truffles, then you don't have to make truffle oil. Yeah, I don't make truffle oil anymore. Um, I have one pig. I have a bunch of sheep. So I thought about that. Um, the problem with getting another barn is that it takes up a lot of space. And um, I think I'm just better off doing kegs. I think you make more money by kegs than anything else in this game. Um, and also, uh, for my character, I'm better off getting sheep. Because sheep, um, you can get wool from them every single day. And uh, the wool is worth just as much as the truffles. Yeah, I mean, like, you're right, Jamie. Um, you're 100% right. Um, I don't know. I have yet to get any dinos. I have one pig, one sheep, one goat, and like four cows. Yeah, I have a bunch of sheep. I have a bunch of sheep. Um, I thought about maybe building another farm, another barn. I thought about maybe building another farm, but, uh, 
I don't know. It, it's just a lot of work, and you have to buy hay, and it's just, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not sure. I love the animals I have. I'm not sure I need more. Um, by the way, I think we need to get out 10 uh, iridium bars. Pretty sure it's 10. <laughs> 100 more bits for 7 lost. Oh my gosh, how kind. Man, I think I'm, like, it's weird. I'm like the the middleman of this kindness. It's bizarre. I love it, though. It's very kind. It's very, very kind. Super, super kind. Thank you so much, you guys. This is very kind. Jamie says, I have 12 pigos. Good lord. I love the pigs. I think the pigs are great. Now that you're mentioning it, I kind of want to make, like, a bunch of pigs. I kind of want to, like, make a barn full of pigs now. Now that you mention it, I sort of like the idea of a barn full of pigs. So, I mean, Jamie, what do you do? Do you just, like, buy hay from Marnie all the time? Like, what do you do to feed all those pigs? All right, we better go to bed here. I could go to bed in style and just use the, uh, the the teleportation rod, but that would be a vulgar abuse of power now, wouldn't it? That would be a vulgar abuse of power. Let's go to bed. That was not a very high money day. <laughs> that was not a very high money day. All right. Ooh, limping into the cash. Limping into the cash pool. All right, let's check the TV. Clear and sunny all day. Spirits are in good humor today. All right, we have a little luck. And there's Rachel. There's Raphael. Where's your mom? Where's your mom? Nope, she's outside. I got up early and fed all the farm animals. I hope that makes your job a little easier today. Well, Maru, our farm animals are automatically fed, so I'm not sure what you were up to. I also filled Mr. Miyagi's water bowl. That is helpful. Oh, look at the kindness. Love Maru. She's great. Hey there, I had some extra wood lying around. I thought you maybe you could use it. Take care. I have just a bit of grass for them, and they're still happy. Oh, really? <laughs> they're still happy. Cat butt. Cat butt? I don't know. Cat butt. One of the things I've always loved about cats, I think if you are a cat owner, you will know all too well how cats like to, like, sort of turn into you and they just put their butt in your face. Um, it's a great thing. Love that cat. Like, you'll be petting a cat. You'll be petting a cat and then it'll just, like, turn its butt right in your face. And, like, just be like, nah, man. Here, you can have the butt. My cat gives me butt bonks. Yeah, butt bonks. That's exactly what that's called. <laughs> butt bonks. Oh man, that's a good name for it. Butt bonks. <laughs> oh man. I love that when cats do that. You like start petting them and they're just like, nah man, go ahead and pet right here. Pet right here. Whatever you're doing, just stop and pet right in the butt. And let's drop the horse off for a minute. Oh yeah, we got that. Uh, we got the statue. We got the evaluation in the second year. It was no problem. Uh, I had no. I didn't have to do it again or anything. Let's let the animals out. Let's let the animals out. Let's get some goods from the animals today. Oh, 
Got a truffle. <laughs> the animals are ravenous. Share those sheep. Come here, sheep. All right. Wait, did we miss a goat? Oh man, we missed a goat. There we go. Hill Kill 72 is followed. Hey, thank you very much. That is a very kind follow. Thank you very much for that. It is very kind of you. Mucho appreciate it. Thank you for finger blasting that follow button. I really appreciate it. This is very... Wow, this place is filled. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of junk in here. Uh-oh, I think the thing... Oh my gosh, the inventory is completely filled. Whew. Oh man, kitties. I love kitties. Alright, let's throw this stuff in here. I think the goat milk is worth... I'm pretty sure it's worth more than cheese. I don't think it really matters. <laughs> what a poet. I know, I've been working on that. I've been working on that. I've been working on my, like... You know, my... Uh, my alliteration and my assonance and all that stuff. Do you remember all that junk, all that terminology from like school? You know, figurative language, you got metaphors and similes, you have uh, assonance, you have consonants, and then you have, you know, allusions, all that junk. There's all those, all those wonderful like uh, tools that you can use in your writing. And uh, one of the wonderful tools that I've come up with is, uh, you know, using those tools in uh, my stream. So I'm very pleased everybody's enjoying. All right, there we go. Let's uh, deposit these eggs in here for now. We'll uh, make some more mayonnaise in a bit here. I didn't realize this was a plus 18 stream. It's not. It's not. There's nothing wrong with the... Uh, there was no illegal language used. There was no illegal language used. All right. Yep, the buck buck. Love those chickens. Those chickens are great. Um, all right, so it's Friday. It is Friday. Yeah, I mean, you know, you finger blast the follow button. You know, you push on the follower button with extreme zeal. That's exactly, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, like, it's possible there are other ways of finger blasting, but I mean, what we're talking about here is finger blasting the uh, follow button. Which is a very kind thing to do to help a fledgling streamer. You know, you got a fledgling streamer. All right, let's throw this in there. And uh, okay, we gotta put food in those uh, containers a little later. Um, oh gosh, you know what I did? I uh, I should have kept some of those goods to get the ten million. We don't have ten million. I mean, we don't have a million. We need a million to build that. Thing. All right, I know where we can get cash. Someone's in the gutter. No, 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 not Slippy. Not Slippy. All right, we're going to pull out 100 bottles and sell them to Pierre. So we're going to dip into the stock. We're going to dip into the stock, the cartel stock. We're going to dip into the cartel stock to make a large purchase which is going to be the other obelisk. Why do we need the other obelisk? 
You really don't. That's the thing. But I think it'll look so cool next to the other obelisk. All right, here we go. All right, Pierre, here you go, brother. There we go. We just got our million. All right. So, ooh, what is this? Help wanted. Four, 40 copper ores for inspection. All right, we can handle that. Oh, it's Pierre's birthday, too. We just kind of reversed birthday him. I think we just reversed birthday to Pierre. <laughs> oh my gosh, buck buck! All right, that's a good command. That's a real good command. All right, we're gonna buy this uh, iridium sprinkler. There we go. <laughs> oh man, buck buck is uh, the. Uh, that's Jello's favorite saying. That's Jello's favorite saying. All right, we're gonna buy some hay, which is a real bummer that we have to keep buying hay, but uh, here we are. Let's make Marnie rich today. All right, that's good. Buy a hundred hay. Let's also go visit the traveling merchant, see if we can spend some more money. And then we're gonna go ahead and build the mountain, the the mountain obelisk. All right, what do you got? You got a strawberry, you got a tulip, pufferfish. Um, I don't really need any of this stuff. I don't really need any of this. We're okay. Pufferfish for 800 is actually a pretty good deal, but uh, we don't really need it. Yeah, I need to make a chicken emote. I, I will, I will do it. Uh, curses to my actual job. I love my job, though. I don't really mean that. But I wish I had more time to, like, do stuff that I really, really want to do. In addition to all the other stuff I really, really want to do. All right, here's the Earth Obelisk. We're going to make it. We're going to spend a lot of money right now. Let's build it. Here we go. We're going to build the Earth Obelisk. And we're going to put it right next to the beach obelisk. Here it is. Look at it. It's going to be so cool. Here we go. Here goes a million. Oh, God. We're going to spend a million. There it is. Oh, my God. Ugh. Ugh. Good Lord, we just spent a lot of money. Look at that. Thir we have 135000 that is the lowest amount of money we've had for a long time. Where's our horse? Oh, God, where did Sokudo go? Sokudo, where are you, buddy? Where's my horse? Where's my horse? Oh, my God, where did Sokudo go? Where did I leave Sokudo? Oh, maybe up. Maybe I left him up. Sokudo, where are you, buddy? Oh, there you are, buddy. All right, there we go. So uh, grab these. May as well grab these. Oof, we got a lot of these. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go get the horse. Eight tulips. I hate when she she has like eight of the same thing. Drives me nuts. At least you don't have to wait. For, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's built instantly. Yeah. Yep, you just get the satisfaction immediately. Yeah, the traveling merchant's pretty hilarious. Sometimes she has, like, the weirdest junk. I saw her one time where she had, like, almost nothing but, but slime. That was pretty funny. In one of the streams, if you go back and watch the streams archived on YouTube, uh, there's one day where I went there and she sold, like, nothing but slime. It was just all slime. It was bizarre. It was bizarre. All right, let's grab all this stuff here. And then there's like some weeks where she sells like the most incredible stock ever. Like all these rare things and like you got no money. Like she sells like tons of rare stuff and like she's, you'd have like no money to buy it all. 
type Lovebot. Oh my gosh, Lovebot. Oh, look at that. Amber is going ham with the bot commands. It's really good. It's really good. Nice job. This is going well. This is going well tonight. All right. Man, look at this so far. We have we built that other obelisk. I'd like to get that um that uh UFO um that UFO uh gosh, what is it called? The uh Man, I can't remember what the scarecrow. I want to get that that UFO scarecrow. That'd be so cool. But uh, it's going to be really hard and it's going to be very expensive. 100 pieces of the hay. How are we doing on hay? 347. Alright, that's not bad. Oh, KY Gaming, Kentucky Gaming. Thank you for your host. I did not see an alert come up for it. Huh. Wow, the alerts are not working again. What is going on? What is going on tonight? Why aren't any of the alerts working? <laughs> Why aren't any of the alerts working? I don't understand. Why do we keep buying Iridium sprinklers when we can't use them? So many questions. So many questions. No answers. Okay. Let's toss this stuff in here. <laughs> cool down. Amber, if you want to change the cooldown time, go ahead, you know? Just go ahead and change it. I'm a bad command person. No, you're not, Jamie. You're a great person. I love you, Jamie. Alright, let's toss these in here. Wow, my neighbors downstairs are really loud. I hope you guys don't hear them yelling at each other. They're not, like, they're a married couple, but they sure don't sound like a married couple. Uh-oh. Did we really hit the two-hour mark? No, 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 no. We haven't hit the two-hour mark. Why is the stream dropping? Hmm. Are we still alive? That was weird. We just, like, lost a crap load of frames. Hmm. But we seem to be live still. Okay, we need to put some stuff into those containers. All right, we seem to be okay. Wow, it was weird. We lost, like, a, a lot of frames there for a minute, but apparently it's recovered. Uh, so I don't know what was up with that, but uh, we seem to be fine. We seem to be fine. All right, we're going to make some uh, eggplants. We're going to make some pickled eggplant. We'll make some pickled eggplant. We'll make some... Uh, Grab some strawberries. Let's see. All right, let's go take care of this stuff. We gotta take care of the. Uh... The other thing we we should do here as soon as possible is uh, get the iridium sprinklers in here. I really hope y'all can't hear the uh, the yelling at from downstairs. That ain't positivity at all. That ain't positivity. This is a positivity stream. And what's going on downstairs ain't positive. It ain't positive! Those two people are not super positive people. Oh my gosh. Alright. Uh, let's go down here. And well, over, over here, I mean. By that, I mean over there. 15 bits. I'm still surprised that watching an ad can get me 5 cents. Man, thank you very much, Arabesh. You are so kind. Thank you for those bits. This is very kind. Thank you very much for those bits. All 
Oh my gosh, look at this nonsense. Look at this nonsense. Nope, can't hear them. Okay, thank goodness. The other minor detail is if you don't speak Japanese, you probably won't know what they're yelling at each other about. And unfortunately, I know enough Japanese to know what they're yelling about, and I can hear them crystal with crystal clarity. And I've got to tell you, my friends, I'd rather not know. I'd rather not know. I would rather not know what they're yelling about, but I can hear them with absolute clarity. And uh, it's a real bummer. It's a real bummer. But I'm glad y'all can't hear them. All right. So let's go over here and check our booze situation. Okay, the booze is not ready. Um, what else? All right. And we have a bunch of booze going. You know, it just occurred to me that I think we can actually put some booze over here. That's one. We could we can set up a couple more kegs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more kegs. Eight kegs. We can put eight more kegs over here. I didn't even realize that. We are wasting valuable space that we could make more booze to to drown the valley in ancient fruit wine. That's our goal, everybody. We're gonna drown the valley in ancient fruit wine. We're just gonna we're gonna corner the market. We're gonna corner it so hard. Do you guys have any of you guys ever seen Silence of the Lambs? There's this really great line in Silence of the Lambs that I can't repeat on stream, but it uses the word hard. And um, if you watch it on television, like if you watch it on television, uh, they edit it out, and it says something like. Do you love me? I love me. I love me so hard. That's what it says. Do you love me? I would love me. I would love me so hard. Anyway, that's what it says on TV if you don't, you know, if you, if you don't, if it's not like, you know, if it's edited, if it's censored, that's what you get. I love me. I love me so hard. But we know what Buffalo Bill is really saying, don't we? <laughs> that is Silence of the Lambs. Oh my gosh. Jamie says, I think you might be the reason everyone in this town are alcoholics. You might be right. I do feel a little bit of shame. I do feel a little bit of shame. A little bit. But, uh... What we're doing is for the greater good. Uh, I'm not actually sure if that's true, but... You know, that's what we're going to go with. That's what we're going to go with. That uh, what we're doing is for the greater good. See, one could also say that we're filling the valley with mayonnaise. And uh, that, that, well, that will make... That will add some waistline. All right? That will add some waistline. All right? So you tell me which is worse. You tell me which is worse. Do you want more mayonnaise? Do you want more mayonnaise? God. Is that what you want? Do you want more mayonnaise? Because I can make more mayonnaise. But the mayonnaise doesn't pay the bills, you know what I'm saying? Do you know how I got Maru to love me? You don't get that way by selling mayonnaise, my friends. You get that way by selling booze. Lots and lots of booze. That's the only way you can get the love from Maru. You don't get the love from Maru by selling no mayonnaise. You get the love from Maru by selling booze. And lots of it. Alright, uh, let's see. How do we make those kegs? Uh, eight iron bars and eight copper wood. <laughs> oh my god. Kinetic plastic, 100 for bits for more mayonnaise. 
Oh my gosh. All right. I had to go. That was emotional for me. That was emotional for me. I hope everyone appreciated that. Okay, let's grab some wood. More than diamond. More than wood. Um, let's make eight kegs. More than diamond. More than wood. All right. Oh my god, it's 12 o'clock. It was very late. It was very, very late. <laughs> Jamie says no mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is so bad. Let me tell you something, Jamie. You're right. Mayonnaise is so bad. Some folks take mayonnaise and just slather it all over everything, man. And uh, believe it or not, here in Japan for a while, there was like a really popular restaurant that had like mayonnaise milkshakes. Could you imagine eating a mayonnaise milkshake? And uh, folks in Japan put mayonnaise on everything. It's really wild. All right. Um, I guess that's it. We kind of ran out of time. But look at that. We've improved the cartel a little bit. Even when you thought the cartel couldn't be improved anymore, it gets a little bit better. Maybe I don't like mayo because I don't like eggs. I don't know. There we go. We use the uh, return scepter. The return scepter is an abuse of power, but we needed to get back before the time ran out. Orabesh says, that sounds incredibly gross. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Man, it's not good. It's not good. Yeah, mayonnaise milkshake. You know that ain't tasty. Could you imagine what that must feel like going down your gullet? All right, let's go to bed here. Can you imagine what that must taste like going down your gullet? Nice and sour. Nice and sour. That, like, warm milkshake that, that, you know, like, when you put your milkshake down for a little while and it gets kind of warm... And you got the mayo milkshake. You got just a milkshake made of mayonnaise. Probably got little coagulated bits. That's a really good word, coagulated. Got some coagulated bits together. And you just swallow it. And it's like chunky. You take a little bite. You get a little nibble as it goes down. All right. That's, you know that's tasty. All right. Look at this, man. 18 grand in cranberry jelly. 18 grand. 18, 18 grand. 94 jars of cranberry jelly. See, now we could make a noble living by just selling mayonnaise, milk. Void mayonnaise is a little a little risque because void mayonnaise is a is an evil item. That's meant for like goblins, I think. They're the only ones who buy void mayonnaise. Um that description was the swallowing sound. <laughs> this is why you tune into the slippy stream. This is why. <laughs> oh, Tuff's Ruffs. Oh my god, can't take any more of this mayonnaise talk. I really appreciated you coming by. I, I don't want to see you leave. Oh, my Nutella isn't happy. All right, well. Slippy's just trying to have a little fun with vocabulary and sound effects. And we're just not, we're, it's not working out. We made a lot of money, though, yesterday. Here's our kid. There's our little girl, Rachel. She's feeling good. And Raphael, little kid right there. These children's college funds are secured. S secured? Not skewered. Secured. Uh, weather report. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Spirits are in good humor today. Have a little extra luck. That's good. Um, it's worth noting the uh, restaurant is not open anymore. Let's see. I'm really glad you become part of our community. I've enclosed a 500 gold check from the Stardew Valley Agricultural Fund to help you continue your good work. Maybe you can buy some more seeds with it. Maybe. Maybe we can buy some more seeds with it. Here's our wife. 
I'm not sure what this is yet, but it's fun to turn the old wrench now and then. Alright, let's see. Let's toss these bait in here. Alright, so we have a lot of mayonnaise to make today. We have a bunch of eggs. Make some more avoid mayonnaise. Goblins love this stuff. They love it. They love it so much. These void chickens working overtime. Let's see Whoope. How are we doing with Whoope? Ooh, Whoope is five hearts. All right, look at that, man. We finally won the love of Whoope. It took a while. Samo was very happy. Yeah, those guys are all really good. It took a while to win uh, Wupe's affections. <laughs> Banana hammock, 100 bits. Less mayo, more booze. You, you got it. We are going to make more booze. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, like... You know, we got all these eggs. We gotta make mayonnaise, right? Alright, let's grab all this stuff. Let's milk this cow. Oh god, no, no, we're not milking anything. Alright, there we go. Milk this cow. Milk this cow. Uh oh. Misanthrope doesn't produce milk. I bet misanthrope produces milk under certain conditions. Isotope doesn't produce milk. Okay, how do I get to this cow? How do I get to this cow? There we go. Okay. All right. They're chomping on that grass. They're chomping on the grass. So much chomping. All right, so wow, we are almost in summer. Um, so, summertime, summertime. We need to plant as much um, star fruit as possible. We need to print, we need to plant a lot of star fruit. Um, we need to, we need to hit it hard. We need to hit it heavy. We need to buy, we need to buy into star fruit. Booze is going. More booze. All right, that booze is going. Yes, indeed. Clean slate. We got some Stardew going on. Thank you for dropping by. It's good to see you. Your tricks for getting bits worked. Wow, banana hammock. Yes, uh, thank you for those bits. Look at this. Look at this sweetness. Let's go to the beach. Take a look on the beach. All right. Why do we go to the beach, you ask? Because we need artifacts. We need two artifacts that have a good chance on the beach. So we can go there instantly with the beach obelisk. Oh, oh, here we go. This could be it. This could be it. And it's gonna be, I bet, rock. Nope, glass shards. Well, there you go. Glass shards is not what we needed. Okay, so then we're going to go back home. There we go. All right. So let's chug these in here. Throw the mayonnaise in there. Throw those in there. Let's see. Hmm. We'll keep the rest for now. Keep those. I can't remember what day it is that uh, Lady at the Desert sells. Um, you know what I'm saying. The Lady at the Desert. She sells the seeds. 
that we need. Let's see. I guess we could make some more. We're kind of running out of ore here. Sandy. Yes, Sandy. I can't remember which day Sandy sells the uh, the star fruit. So we're going to have to go there and check it out. Uh, I want to get some star fruits. Do you happen to know, Jamie, what day it is that she sells the uh, star fruit? She always sells star fruit? Okay. All right, my bad. All right, we should go there today. We should go there today um, and buy a bunch of star fruit. How are we doing on star fruit seeds? Let's check. chicken set off rapid fire bucks they like just they like push the the rapid button on the controller for the butt the bucks they just like it's really good anybody ever do that tape down the uh the rapid fire button on a controller like i used to do that for uh for uh, uh oblivion to, like level up my skills I think I, I think I mentioned this on a previous stream but uh, that was a, that was a trick I used you can like you take you don't it's not turbo you just like put you, you crouch your character and like send your character into a corner of like a tavern and if you tape the controller down and just leave it there all night you'll wake up and have a hundred and sneak so if you ever play that game you can break it that way it's pretty great I think it also works if you use the acrobatic skills. I don't know. It's been a while. Can't remember exactly. Okay, so let's check Starfruit. We have two. That's not good. That's not good at all. Alright, so we're gonna sell some more booze. No, oh, run, kid, run! I reckon we'll just sell this 100 ancient fruit wine. We got more ancient fruit wine on the way. I'm not worried about it. Are you worried about it? Nobody's worried about it. Let's go. I hope she buys it. I don't know if she'll actually buy it. Alright, let's, right, let's go visit Sandy. I was talking about Oblivion. I was talking about Oblivion. You can do some hardcore cheating in that game if you just take the controller down. I always felt like a weird... Like, when I did that, when I was a little kid, I felt like I was so, like, devious and dastardly. I was like, oh man, I'm getting away with something here. Alright. Um, you know what? We're gonna give her a, a daffodil. Look at that. Ooh, I absolutely love getting flowers from the valley. I'm so happy. See, look at that. We didn't even need to give that to her, but we did it anyway. Okay, starfruit seeds. She won't buy the booze, by the way. She won't buy the booze. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ham. We're gonna buy as much seeds as possible. We're just gonna go ham. We need these seeds. We need these seeds. I mean, we're just gonna take it down. We're just gonna take the entire amount down. We're gonna plunge our cash reserves into the toilet. Boom! Boom! 400 seeds. No money. You're welcome, Sandy. Have a good time with that cash. Enjoy that cash. We are going to enjoy making 
uh, starfruit wine, which is worth more than ancient fruit wine, by the way. The only reason why we keep selling ancient fruit wine is because we can fill up our entire... Um, it, like, regrows itself, and you can fill up the uh, greenhouse with it, and it's quite valuable. But uh, believe, believe it or not, starfruit wine is actually more valuable than ancient fruit wine. But the problem with uh, starfruit is that it doesn't regrow itself. It's just gone. Like, it's just gone. You make it, and it's just gone. But it's worth a ton. Your loyal horse, horse awaits, waits patiently. Why can't I say horse? Why can't I say horse? Am I some kind of weirdo? Like, what is wrong with me? Okay, we're gonna sell this booze to Pierre. We don't actually need to sell this to Pierre, but I can't handle looking at that low of money, that a uh, low amount of money. Blam! Come back, money! Come back, money! <laughs> Have you guys ever seen... Let's do another movie talk here. Have any of y'all ever seen um, Bringing Out the Dead? I believe it's called Bringing Out the Dead. It has Nicolas Cage in it. And he is a... He's like a ambulance driver. And, like, there's this hilarious scene where, like, a guy... Uh, he's, like, overdosing... And um, they're like, what's your name, kid? What's your name? They're trying to resuscitate this kid, like this kid's friend. And um, they're like trying to resuscitate this kid that's overdosing. And uh, he says, what's his name? What's his name? And he goes, his name is I be banging. And he, he's like, he's like, come back from the dead. I be banging. It was great. Oh my gosh, banana hammock with a hundred bits. Thank you so much for those bits. Come back from the dead, I be banging. <laughs> oh my god, what is Slippy talking about? I don't know. Some nonsense. Alright. Bringing Out the Dead is a really good movie. It's actually a, like a really legitimately good movie. Alright. Weird. The stream is dropping hard again. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully we don't lose the whole stream. Oops. Oopsie. Thank you so much, Banana Hammock. For those bits. For those wonderful bits. I appreciate it, my friend. We got some gold. Let's grab that gold. I think we got some shrooms in here. Let's grab those shrooms. <laughs> A laurel horse. I don't know why I can't say it. Loyal. 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 Look at that. Look, I'm doing so good. I'm pronouncing English words with great precision. Loyal. Loyal. Yesterday was good. We had a good stream yesterday. We were playing Deadly Premonition, that amazing artwork of a game. That was a great game. It actually, like, it, it, I mean, it crashed a couple times, but for the most part, the game was fine. I'd say it went all right. I mean, it, it definitely could have went a lot worse. That game is highly unstable. Highly, highly unstable. <laughs> Too bad it lags and crashes. Well. It was a good it was a good stream though. Everybody had a good time, I think. Um, let's see. Let's check our booze situation. Not done yet. Alright. We gotta figure out what those uh, slime machines do. We built those slime machines. I don't even know what they do. You know what? We will make some Skyrim booze real quick. Because um, I don't want to build... I don't want to make more wine. Uh, I want these things to, like, sort of be at the same time. 
I, uh, I don't want those things to, like, be at different times, but Skyrim booze goes really quick. All right, Banana Hammock, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for those wonderful bits. If you put 100 slime into the slime machine, it makes a slime egg. Okay, let's do it. Let's make a slime egg. What do we do with a slime egg? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Wait, what do we do with a slime egg? A hundred slime? Okay, we have a hundred slime. Oh man, let's do it. Let's make a... Let's make a slime egg. Oh my god, thank you so much for those bits! Those parting bits. I'll see you next time, banana hammock. That blue jazz honey will be fairly valuable. Should make a decent amount of cash off that. Alright. This is the last of the mayonnaise. Let's close the gate. Did we get any truffles today? It looks like no. We didn't get any truffles today. You put a slime egg into you put a slime egg into a slime incubator and a slime hatches from it. Oh my gosh, really? Is it like a is it a hostile slime or is it like a pet slime? Is it like a friendly slime? God, that would be so dope. Oh god, can you train slimes in this game? Can you tame slimes? Oh god, tell me, Jamie. Don't break my heart. Don't break my heart, Jamie. Can you tame slimes? Tell me you can tame slimes. We even built this occult area over here for it. Wait, so it goes in here? Yep. Huh. It's both its pet, but they still... <laughs> it's a pet, but they still attack you. I don't know if that's a pet, man. I don't know... <laughs> I don't think that's a pet. If it attacks you, I don't think it's a pet. <laughs> this is my little pet slime, and then it's like la it's like murdering you as you try to pet it. It takes a day or two for the egg to be made. Okay. Sweet. I'm excited. Aggressive. <laughs> oh my golly gosh. Oh my gosh. You can keep them in the slime hutch. Oh my gosh, the slime hutch? Propensity Games is now hosting me. Uh-oh, the, the alert did not come up. Man, what is wrong with the alerts today? Thank you very much, Propensity Games. I appreciate that. You were very kind. I don't know why the alert didn't come up. I don't know why the alert didn't come up. My alerts are not working well today, but uh, you have my thanks. Thank you very much for that wonderful host. It, if you get the slime charmer ring, slimes can't hurt you. Oh, wow. Well, then you could kind of have them as pets then. Oh, man, slime charmer ring. Oh, man. Sounds like we need to get a slime charmer ring. Oh, by the way, what is going on? Is there, like, another event or something at the end of the month? Let's check. Oh, no, it was just her birthday. We missed her birthday. That's sad. I'm not sure how you get it, though. Okay, all right. It's something to think about for the future. It's something to think about for the future. The farm is in good shape, man. It's, a, it's unfortunate that the year is about to end. It's very unfortunate. Look how nice the farm is, man. Everything was good. And now the year is going to end, and it's going to be all messed up again. I'm also really liking our occult area over here. 
show everybody. Look, this is the occult uh, area. This is where the dark uh, chicken gods of Stardew Valley are worshipped. Um, we have a nice little campfire, and, you know, it's just really nice. It's just a place you go to relax. Just a little bit of relaxing over there. Everybody's, you know, take take some time away. Yeah, yeah, the season is about to end. What did I say, year? You have to forgive me. I am a little sleepy. Little sleepy. Slippies. Oh, we're going to have to... Damn. Warp. Number one, engage. All right, let's go to bed. Let's get a drink of water also. Let's get a drink of water. Okay. All right. Back to it. All right, let's see. How did we make this money? Oh, that sweet blue jazz honey. Look at that. 7,600 for that blue jazz honey. It's a decent deal. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, so this is going to be the last day of spring. Last day of spring. The last day of spring. All right, let's go touch our kids real quick. There, there she is. That's Rachel. She's doing good. Raphael, good kid. Here's our wife. How do you keep your hands so soft with all that farm work? Because Junimos do all of our harvesting and technology feeds our animals for us. That's how. Look at that love. Look at that love. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Neutral luck. Queen of sauce. Maybe this is one of the recipes we're missing. We are missing two recipes. Lucky lunch. An old legend has it uh, that this meal is the irresistible spirits of luck and fortune. After consuming it, you're likely to attract good spirit into your belly. It will bless you with good fortune until the meal is digested. Sounds weird, huh? I can't say I believe it, but the meal is delicious nonetheless. I gotta tell you, I had a dark spirit in my belly yesterday because I ate too much garlic. I was feeling like I was going to die. But we're better today. Hello there, dear. I hope your farm is doing well. I'm sending a little something for my kitchen. I hope it didn't crumble in the mail. I got some cookies. Lady's really nice. <laughs> Don't take it out of context, Jamie. Don't take that out of context. Don't you take that out of context now. Alright, let's go let our animals out. Touch the animals too. Samo, Blam. Come out more animals. Blam, Reptron, Wupe, Kido, Okani. Okay, that was Supa, I think. Lamb, Wupe! Nope. Here we go. I think that's Jello. Oh, Supa. Yeah, probably not. I don't know what you say then. Select your kids. Press the button as you walk by your kids. It doesn't really roll off the tongue, now does it? Alright, pet your kids. Is that better? Hmm, pet your kids, maybe that works. Hug them? Oh, it's hugging them? Oh, that now that sounds nice. Jamie with the, the wonderful advice of saying hug your kids as opposed to pet your kids. You can tell that Slippy is made for families. Like I'm made to be a husband. Like someday, someday I'm gonna be like the most amazing husband and father. I don't think that's accurate. All right. Let's take care of the animals here. <laughs> Banana hammock is hosting. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see. <laughs> of 
thank you for that host. Oh my god. Don't you touch my kid! Oh, the language, it gets me. It gets me. Alright. So, this is the last day. Huh. This is the last day. Let's see. Let's go, let's go touch Mr. Miyagi. There's Mr. Miyagi. It's a good cat. Love that cat so much. Thank you for that wonderful host, Banana Hammock. You are very kind. I think the alert came up, which is odd. The alerts are kind of working and not working. It's weird. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. Um, I guess we can just make some more gold, I guess. I'm not really sure. Sunday, too. Okay, it's Sunday. So we can go visit the uh, traveling merchant. Not sure if she has anything that we need, but it's always good to check. We should also put in the iridium sprinklers in this uh, greenhouse. It's probably something we should do. But uh, we just never get around to it. We never seem to get around to it. It's a busy, it's busy keeping up with all this farming. It's very busy to keep up with all this farming. All right, let's go grab that booze. Some Skyrim booze there. We're gonna leave those barrels because we want them to sort of be around the same time. We want to harvest all of them at the same time. But today is the last day, so we have to pick these flowers. Kind of sad. Kind of sad. Looks like we're gonna get one more um, harvest of these strawberries, though. That's pretty good. All in all, I'd say this is like going fairly well. So we will get one more harvest of the strawberries. That's not bad. Okay, so for summer, our strategy is going to be grow as much star fruit as possible. And probably grow as much hops as possible. Like try to harvest as much hops as possible. So we'll see. Ooh, inventory is full. Okay, the inventory is full. All right. Let's uh, let's go get some stuff out of our inventory. Mm. Gotta get some of this stuff out of our inventory. we want to keep these or not but you know what we probably don't we'll keep a couple we'll keep a couple i don't know maybe we can eat them for some reason nick says uh the other day i read that strawberries and raspberries aren't berries facts like that upset me wait a second they're not they're not really what wait what are they then Are they, like, a different family or something? Oops. But bananas are. They're planes. Planes. It's 
pretty dope, though. I didn't know. I had no... Oh, oh, I think I... Uh, I wonder if any of the animals got out. I left the gate open. All right, I don't know if any of the animals got out, so we're going to leave that open just in case. stuff in our inventory. It keeps filling up, man. You know what? We're gonna sell these cookies. Sorry. It was a very kind gift, but we're just gonna go ahead and sell I'm sure she understands. I'm sure she understands. Right? Okay. are really similar, but I guess they're different colors. We're being trolled? Really? It's very easy to do to Slippy. Slippy is very gullible. Slippy is very, very gullible. He will... He's easily convinced of things that are not often true. My kids always tell me stuff at school, and I'm like, that doesn't sound right. Like, I, I mean, I, I like know it doesn't it doesn't sound right, but I just like let them go with it. Like, I, I don't know, I just sort of believe that people are being truthful <laughs> most of the time, <laughs> which is a very big mistake. Oh my God, Jamie, Jamie with the hard troll. Look at that kitty cat, sprawled out in the grass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Sunday. Uh, Fats Snorlax. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for dropping by. Why aren't you selling strawberries? Because, my friend, those strawberries can be made into booze! B -b -b booze and they're worth a lot more. Aggregate accessory fruit, according to the wiki. Yeah, I, um, I'm keeping the strawberries because they make valuable jelly and they make valuable booze. And we have a lot of containers to fill on the regular. Let's see, he still wants 40. <laughs> he still wants 40 copper ores. Okay. All right, let's go see the traveling merchant. It's possible the merchant has something we need, but probably not. I can't really think of anything we actually need anymore. But, uh, oh, we didn't check the beach either. We gotta go check the beach. All right, um, crystal fruit. Well, mm, we might take that crystal fruit. I don't know. I, sp I don't know. We'll probably take that. Fat Snorlax says, Thank you for the tip. You are very welcome. I started yesterday. Okay, wow. I'm going to buy that sea cucumber as well. It's a good deal on the sea cucumber. Coconut for 700 Hmm. I don't really need it. But it's not a bad deal. It's actually, like, not a bad deal. Yeah, yeah, you want to, um, the more valuable fruit, you want to go ahead and make it into to jelly or make it into booze. Uh, you can make a lot of money that way. Okay, forgot about these. 
All right, let's grab those. And I, I imagine I forgot a couple of uh, flowers over here. Okay, and let's go check the beach. We gotta go check the beach. Very important to check the beach. All right, let's go check the beach. To beach, let's go to the beach. All right, look at that. See, this could be it. It's not. Ah, oh, we don't need dried starfish. <sighs> Man. Come on now. Treat Slippy right. Hook Slippy up with the anchor. We need the anchor. We need the anchor. We need the Nautilus shell. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's a Nautilus shell, but it's a shell. I'm pretty sure it's a shell. Crappy. Nothing. All right, let's go back home. Oh, we don't need this sea urchin. No, we don't need this sea urchin. Let's throw that in there. There you go. You go in there, sea urchin. You go in there. Let's see, throw that in there. Chotomate, chotomate. Wow, when did you learn to teleport? Well, if you want to teleport, need two million gold. I am talking about the stuff I need for the museum, yep. Yeah. Yeah, you need two million gold, uh, Fat Snorlax, and you can buy it uh, from a character much later in the game. Much, much later in the game. Um, if you're, you're not going to have it for a real long time. It's, um... It, just so you... Fat, fat Snorlax. Uh, the item is sort of game-breaking, if I'm completely honest. But uh, at this point, it doesn't really matter if it's game-breaking because I'm so far into the game that it doesn't really matter anymore. Even though it's cool because I'm still finding out new things. Like uh, Jamie was telling me about the... Uh, the slime hutch, the slime taming and stuff. I never knew anything about that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Sargeras9, are you playing on the PC? I am. Thanks for hanging out with the stream tonight. It's not a shell. I thought it was a shell. I thought it was a shell. I don't know what this is. I thought this was like a petrified shell. This is a doll, and this is an anchor. This one and this one we can get on the beach. That's why I built the the ocean transport pillar. And this one I think we can get in the skull cave, but I'm not I'm not totally sure. I'm not totally sure. Sargeras9 has followed. Thank you very much. Appreciate that follow. Thank you for finger blasting that uh, follow button. Really appreciate it. It is very kind of you. Thank you very much. And Scum Creep is hosting me. Oh my god. Thank you, Scum Creep. Thank you for that wonderful host, Scum Creep. Wow, are we really out of hops? Huh. Alright, so it's Sunday. Let's um, get our stuff together. Um, let's get ready to plant for tomorrow. The doll you don't have is Strange Doll. Yep. I'm gonna cut down all the grass because it's gonna die anyway.
I have the anchor, but I don't know where I got it. Sorry. I think you can get it from the beach. I think you can get it from the beach. But, uh, you know, you just gotta be lucky. Just gotta be lucky. Alright. So all this grass is gonna die, so... May as well make it into hay real quick. Alright. I think, I'm pretty sure that you can get it from the beach, but I've been wrong before. Heavens, have I been wrong before. Okay, let's check the hay situation. 415, we have tons of food for the animals. It's no problem. This is no problem. We got lots of hay for our animals. Ooh, we have a egg in here. Let's throw this egg in here. And let's throw this stuff in here. And we'll sell this stuff. Alright, so we need to grab everything for the summer. And I think I'm going to put the animal stuff in here for now. We'll deal with that in a little while. We're going to throw that crystal path in there as well. Uh, Sargeras9 says, I'm new to this game. Can my animals die? I don't think so, but they can become very unhappy. And if they become unhappy, they won't produce uh, milk or they won't grow um, uh, fur, like wool. They won't do anything for you. They'll just be miserable. Yeah, they don't die. Yeah, they don't die. They just, they just get really unhappy. Um, Kinetic Plastic, thank you so much for those hundred bits. I will try to have a great stream. It's going really good, so it's no problem. Thank you so much for those bits. It really is kind of you. Thank you so much. It's good to see you today. Thank you for dropping by. Mucho appreciated. All right, so let's grab all the stuff for summer. So the most important thing is the star fruit. This is, we, we want to plant this as soon as possible. Um, we also need our Deluxe Speed Grow. And as a matter of fact, I think we need to make more of it. So I'm going to grab some of this oak resin. We're going to make some more of the uh, Speed Grow. We're going to make some more Speed Grow. But I don't think we have very many coral. And we don't have very many coral. That's, that's a bummer. Let's see. All right. Yeah, we didn't have very much coral. Coral! Coral! Coral, take care of your sister. Okay. Uh, let's see. Plant these in the spring or summer? Wow, I didn't even realize these could be planted in the spring. Hmm. Summer or fall? I think sunflower is pretty good for making, like, uh, honey. I'm pretty sure it's good for making honey. And they produce very quickly, so that's pretty good. All right, what else? So we want, we want to plant booze. Tomato seeds, eh, not really worth it. Summer Spangle is pretty good. Mm, red cabbage is not that great. Radish seeds are not that great. Yeah, fairy rose honey, but that's in the winter. I think sunflower honey is the best for summer. Mm. Could be poppies, though. Hmm. Summer, melon, summer, hops. Okay, hops. Fairy roses in the fall. I meant fall. I meant fall. That was my bad. 
Yeah, I meant I actually meant fall, but see, blueberries are re will regenerate, which is kind of nice. Um, these also continue to produce. These also produce into the fall, which is kind of nice. But the problem is corn isn't really that valuable. Corn is not super valuable, but it's very efficient. Corn is very, very efficient. It takes a long time to grow, though. I think blueberries in general are better. Melons are also good, but melons take 12 days. I'd rather plant uh, starfruit. Let's see. Poppies, I think, are pretty good. I don't know. Maybe we'll make some various flowers. But I think that's about it. I think this is all we're interested in planting. Possibly the corn. I'll, I'll pull out the corn just in case. But I don't think we really want to plant corn. I don't, I don't think we really want to plant corn. It's just not really that valuable. Yeah, they don't make good money, but the honey is more valuable. That's why I want to plant flowers. The honey, it makes the honey much more valuable than wild honey. So I like to plant some flowers because then it makes the honey like, you know, poppy honey or sun, or sunflower honey, you know? So it's it's better. The, the honey is more valuable. These take 13 days, man. That's kind of, I don't know, it's not great, but... 11 and they produce all right that's what we're gonna plant this is what we're gonna plant for summer this is what we're gonna plant for summer it looks good to me it looks good to me all right so let's take a look around just make sure we did everything corn and blueberries are worth the same really but you can make um are blueberries worth more if you make them into wine? If that's the case, then I think I'd rather plant. Yeah. That's true. The corn grows into fall. I think that's okay. I think I'd rather plant blueberries. But it is less work. <laughs> it is less work. And the Junimos will do it for me. That's the greatest thing. If I plant corn, then that means I don't have to deal with it when the uh, time comes around. But that's not really the mental space I want to be in this game. You know? I just enjoy playing the game. Yeah, I think the blueberries are better too. Okay. Well, this was a good year four. This was a pretty good year four uh, for summer. We made a lot of money. We made a lot of improvements to the farm. Um, I think it all went fairly well. Let's just take one quick look around. One more quick look around. Let's buy some... We need to buy more grass, which is very unfortunate. These are not done yet. All right, those will all be dead. Clean that up. And yeah, there's nothing in there. Everything is good there. Let's see these wine barrels over here. I think it's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, we have a bunch of wine in here. All right. Oh my. This wine is ready to go. This wine is ready to go.
All right. Oh, and our, we have our egg. We have our egg. Oh my god, we got our egg. We got our green slime egg. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, Nick. We we, we got a Nightbot. I don't know. We're just going to put this green egg in here. We'll deal with it later. Uh, it's pretty cool though. I'm really glad we got a we got a we got our first slime egg. We got our first slime egg. I feel so happy. We have our first slime egg. All right. Let's sell this booze. All right. So let's throw that in there. Buck, buck. Um. So what? I guess we should just make more ancient fruit wine. But I don't really want to be carrying this stuff around. Hmm. I think I'm just going to pull the cranberries out. Um, maybe we can fill that. Let, let's focus here. Let's, let's focus. Um... What was it? 61? All right, so we'll grab 51 of these and 10 more. And we'll get those going. 61, but it's 1.10 in the morning. I can't make it. We'll never make it. Even if we drink a coffee, I don't think we'll be able to get over there in time. I don't know. We could try it. <laughs> Let's try it. Uh, you don't really move that much faster. Yeah, we'll never make it. I don't think we can get down there. Eh, ah, it's never gonna happen. Yeah, it's never gonna. Nah, nah, we can't do it. Nope. Okay, well that was that was folly. That was folly. It was too far. There's no way we could make it down there in time. That's okay though. All right, let's go to bed. All right, and so begins summer. Where's the horse? I don't know where I left him. He's somewhere on the farm. I don't know where I left him. All right, so we made some decent money off of flowers. Some really good money off of mead. So if y'all are new to this game and you want a little bit of a tip, if you want to make money, the best way to make money is by making mead, which is very easy. Mead and um, ale. Ale you can make from hops, and hops will reap, will produce every single day, and you can keep making ale from hops. And then, if you have beehives, you can make mead from the honey, from the wild honey. Both are very valuable very fast and very very uh sustainable like it's very easy to keep making it so if you're interested in like making money fast i highly recommend that hops are very very good they're very 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 good um, and honey is very very good never sell honey always make it into mead let's uh pet our kids there's our two kids Where's our wife? There she is, Maru. Make sure you don't get a heat stroke, dear. All right. Drink plenty of water and don't overwork yourself. All right, I'll do my best. Gone body macho. Gone body macho. Clear and sunny all day. Mm, not good luck. I've heard that some folks stand near moving trains to gather any debris that falls off. Wow, the things people will do for a freebie. Um, that is a setting that you can enable if you are on PC that'll let you zoom in and zoom out of your farm. Hey there, I had some extra wood lying around. I thought maybe you could use it. Take care. My mom-in-law, so nice. Mom-in-law is so nice. If you, so, um, 
Oh my gosh, Amber, I didn't even know you made that command! Oh god, Amber knows me too well. This is wonderful. Oh my god, thank you, Amber, so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> that is a great quality of life uh, command right there. Thank you so much. Yes, as the command says, I prefer the game zoomed in. I know some people it drives them mad. And to you I say, thank you for checking out the stream. I hope you stick around and it doesn't make you want to leave. But uh, I do prefer the game zoomed in. I don't like it zoomed out. Uh, so I know that it drives some folks crazy, but uh, I really do prefer it this way. harvest all this stuff. And El Polo Hermano says, me too, it's much better zoomed in. Okay, man, I love it. Look at this. I am getting support. You zoom in by, well, zoom in just like the base game, I believe, is just zoomed in. It's in the settings. It's uh, right here. If you go in the settings, um, it's it's right here. The zoom buttons. Right here. So you can adjust it if you would like. Some people prefer to play the game very much zoomed out, like zoomed out really far. Just run a lower resolution as well. Yeah, I mean, there's everybody has their own preference, man. I think it's important thing to have your own, like, do it the way you want to do it. You know, do it the way you want to do it. Everybody should do it the way they want to do it. Yeah. Thank you for Swami God. Swami God, man. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you come by again sometime. If you if you leave, I don't know if you're you're gonna head out, but thank you. For, for checking out the stream. Okay, so we have to leave three behind? I don't know. We'll just take them all. I'm not totally sure. I don't remember the exact count. Um, Alright. So, let's... We actually have to go to the shop for a minute. And then we'll be ready to get going here. Start, uh farming and planting and whatnot. Let's uh, go let the animals out, though. I think that's important to let those poor animals out. Let's let them out. Let's let them out! Let's let them out! Okay. Looks like the fences are all working fine. Okay, everything's fine. The fences are all good. The fences are all in good order, and that's closed. Okay, we're in good shape. Let's go. Oh, did I not get the horse? Oh my gosh. 